Headed by Brian Bush, Top Crop Alliance. Brown husks in the cornfield. Questions start coming in. When am I going to be able to run? When will I have 16% corn? Is the corn mature yet? Deep breath. First things first, go out to your field. It's really easy. Break an ear in half. Tell me what you see. So I like to look at the opposite side of the germ. When you do that, here's why. See that kind of lightish color on the, on the inside there? We have the hard starch on the outside of the kernel. That is mature. That's done. In between, though, was kind of that kind of milky color. Well, that's called the milk line. In this case, it's about halfway down that kernel. Half milk line tells us a couple different things. With this kind of mid 70s for highs, you know, maybe mid 50s to 60 for lows, this is two weeks at least away from maturity. Meaning you've got two more weeks to pack in starch, increase kernel depth, increase your yield potential. That's great from a yield perspective. Now, some of you are looking at the calendar and saying, hang on a second, that means I won't have 30% corn for another two weeks? Yes, so we're probably gonna run a lot more corn in October this year than in September. But, with that, we still have about 15% of the starch yet to pack in here. So we can make these kernels another 15% deeper across the board here. That's a good thing. Pull another one here. If you look at this one, it's a little bit shorter down here, especially on this side. Maybe it's more like 10% milk line, 25% milk line. This is more like maybe a week to 10 days. So, and as you look at these ears too, there's differences around the ear. The tip may be further along than the butt of the ear. So there's going to be differences out there, but if everything stays healthy, stays, you know, is, is in good shape, we can still fill for quite a while. We pack in starch until we get to black layer on these kernels. We break off the kernel here, take off the tip. When you do that right here, that spot should be black. Since we're not black yet, there's still starch being packed into that kernel. That's a good thing. Now, let's say you were one of the guys that got out in, in late April or early May. You're going out there and you're finding black layer. You break the ear in half, there's no milk line. You break the tip of, off the kernel, it's black. Now we can talk about dry down. So typically black layer on a kernel equates to about 30% moisture. The first 5% come out pretty quickly. So we go from 30% down to 25% rather quickly. It takes about 30 GDUs. So use that same kind of example, you know, 75 for a high, 55 for a low, that's 15 GDUs per day. Another way of saying it, with this kind of weather we've got today, this kind of week here, you'll lose about a half point of moisture per day if you're at black layer. So that means it would take about 10 days to go from 30% to 25%. Now, once you get to 25%, it gets harder. It takes more energy, more heat to remove a point of moisture. So it takes about 45 heat units. So with this kind of weather, it'd be you lose a third of a point per day. So below 25% moisture, with this kind of weather we have right now, unless we get back into the 80s for highs, count on about a third of a point, maybe a half point at most per day of dry down in your corn. So you say, Brian, I don't start harvest until I get to low 20s. Well, I hope you don't mind starting harvest on the 10th to 15th of October either. So if you're gonna wait for dry corn, it's gonna be a while here. Unless the weather pattern changes and we start getting back into the 80s again, in which case we'll drop moisture a lot quicker there. But at least for right now, brown husks in the field, go out and take a look. Break the ears in half, find where the milk line is. If you have the milk line still moving down, you don't have the black layer on the tip of those kernels, you're still packing in starch. That's a good thing with this kind of weather. You're adding more kernel depth. If you're a black layer, now we can start figuring out when you can start harvest. I know some guys talk about starting harvest probably in another week or so, so it won't be too far off. One more thing while I've got you in the field here. This field is pretty fungicide. About a brown silk, you know, kind of a milk stage, late, late, late blister to milk stage. Has did an excellent job of holding off the disease. You can see in here, a few specks of gray leaf spot here and there, but if I can find that leaf again here. You see those black specks right there? That is tar spot. So this is a field we've never seen tar spot in before. Uh, Bartholomew County field. Never really seen a whole lot in this area here. So fungicide works. Fungicide's holding our disease at bay here. Purdue, Kentucky, all the pathologists kind of looking around have decided tar spot's not really about, it's not really a temperature dependent disease, it's a leaf wetness disease. So if we have heavy dews, you're gonna continue to see disease thrive in here. Now, I do not recommend fungicide at this point. I'll repeat that again. For an ear, 
that is half milk line or less, there's no point putting on a fungicide because this disease probably can't move fast enough to kill this plant before we get to black later. But disease moving in here, keep an eye on fields. I'm a little concerned with the dry weather, disease moving in, or are we gonna start to see issues with stock integrity? Where we're cannibalizing those stalks to finish out these ears, make them as deep as kernels that we can, and in turn, we're gonna have weaker stalks. So just keep an eye on the fields. If you have any questions, please let me know.